So, it's finally happened. Amber Rudd MP, former Home Secretary and noted Pinocchio enthusiast, has resigned for her seeming inability to tell even the most basic of truths in relation to the Windrush scandal. Last week she lied to a parliamentary select committee when pressed over setting targets for voluntary removals from the UK. She insisted first that they couldn't be set, then that she had no knowledge of the fact, and at the weekend it emerged that in a private letter sent to Theresa May that she had boasted of setting ambitious but realistically achievable targets for removal. In the face of such flagrant dishonesty, it's only right that Amber Rudd has resigned from the government's front benches. However, we cannot allow this political crisis to be contained by this one action. Ultimately, responsibility lies with Theresa May, the architect of the fundamentally unjust, draconian and unworkable hostile environment immigration policy. Under Theresa May's stewardship, the Home Office has had the demonisation of migrants written through its very DNA. We've seen our public servants turned into border guards and even children being asked to confirm their right to remain in this country while at school. And in this, the Tories have made a grave miscalculation. They assumed that the British public were just as racist and just as unempathetic as they are, and that we have this deep down desire to see the Home Office transformed into the Ministry for Institutional Racism. We want to ensure that only legal migrants have access to the labour market, free health services, housing, bank accounts and driving licences. And this is not just about making the UK a more hostile place for illegal migrants, it is also about fairness. Fairness due process and rule of law are values that we all hold dear, not deport first and appeal later, or split up families over tiny technicalities. The British public are tired of the lies. We're tired of being lied to over what government ministers knew or didn't know about the Windrush scandal, and we're tired of the lie that migrants and people on welfare are to blame for all of society's ills. It's not just Amber Rudd that has to go, it's the whole rotten hostile environment policy, and we can start by getting rid of Theresa May.